The Chiefs' season has taken a while to get going, but it finally kicked into gear last week with a 50-point effort against the Bulls in Pretoria. Now they travel to Buenos Aires to take on the Jaguares, fresh off a bye and with senior players returning from injury. Eddie this time, Ardron's got it tucked in the back. They try to get away on Ardron, goes himself. Just half a metre short, in fact, is he almost there? Ardron, no, still there for the Chiefs. Good defence on the line by the Jaguares. They're still under pressure. The Chiefs come at them again. Trying to disrupt Weber. Offside advantage. Penalty advantage for the Chiefs again. Now they get it through to McKenzie. He strolls over, then it had to come. Great bit of work, wasn't it, from the Chiefs? First on the set piece. And have a look here. Magnificent ball from Weber. Getting that out to Damon McKenzie, and he just goes over. Harris to throw, finds Jacobson again at the front. And another advantage the way of the Chiefs as they get a rumble on. Heading over towards the sideline. Got the advantage their way though, so Weber will clear. Chipped ahead, Marty for Damien, off the post, it's scooped up by Manu. Well, a little bit of luck, a little bit of fortune, but they've worked hard for it. And Tamua Manu gets the Chiefs second under the boast. It was a nice bit of execution from Marty McKenzie. Watch this here, advantage at play. It was obviously aiming for the post. <laughs> Tamua, brilliant try, Chiefs. Okay, leave it black, leave it. Oh, they've lost it again, the Haguaris, just as they look to press. And the Chiefs will bang this away and, over. and look to clear into half time and take a handy advantage into the break. The Chiefs cling on at the end of the first half. And they lead 17 6 at half time. It's all collapsed under the Chiefs. Another advantage for the Haguaris. Just a metre short. Kubeli. Diaz Bonilla looks to the side, McKenzie's underneath, and oh, it's pinpoint, did he get it down? The crowd would suggest that Joaquin Tukalet has gone in in the corner. And they knew they're under advantage. Watch the pinpoint accuracy. Oh. Yeah, just in there. you got to remember, two that short in goals. Thanks, buddy. Great bit of skill. Takes his time over at Diaz Bonilla from out wide. Just coming around, it's a good kick, and now they are really back into it, the Haguaris. Straight into the first five's hands, across the face, Moroni, oh, a little work move, but losing his feet, still there though for De La Fuente. Who's himself the captain, wrapped up by Macklin Bush, yep. Good hands, Petty. Now gets the big legs pumping Guido Petty just a couple of metres short. Kubeli digs it out. Matera is there. Pablo Matera is in for the Haguares. Well, look at this. Big hole opened up. Nice and patient. They came back to the blind side. Now, full of numbers. Look at that. Thank you, mate. Kenzie flying at Diaz Bonilla, but calm as you like, strokes it over. Advantage, slowing it down. Penalty advantage. Oh, it's worked once for them. Is it going to work again? Leaping high, knocking it back in there. It's there for the Haguares. Darrell Mitt was some heavy defensive work here, and I think it was Kramer that got over the ball, turned it over, and then here, Penalty advantage goes up high. Been able to slap it back to Orlando. He hasn't been on very long. Ricky, as you've mentioned, but he's got a crucial try. It's tucked under the feet of the Chiefs forwards. Talini Sui has got Tahuri Orangi. Tahuri Orangi is there. Titoira Tahuri Orangi in in the corner for the Chiefs. Solid set piece. But it was still, he went blind. Look at it, tw twisted here. Look at that magic. Who to go? All they need to do is kick it out. Oh, have they lost it here, the Chiefs, though. Haguari's trying to get in. It's there for the Chiefs, and they will hang on at the death. They dominated in the first half, but had to score in the final two minutes to win it. 
get their second win of the Super Rugby season. The Chiefs 30, the Jaguars 27.